Hey everybody, this is Mrs. C. I'm coming to you with some vocab on geometry. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is my second try at this video because it got all confuzzled with my vocab. And I will definitely cue you into the ones that got me confused. Um, I'm an algebra person, right? Flipping algebra, not flipping geometry. So I'm doing my best. And here we go. I hope I, I hope I help you out here. Which angle number represents angle HKN? So first of all, we got to jump in and actually identify where the heck is HKN. I always look first for my vertex. Here's my K. And then what I want to do is I want to connect K to the H and the N. So I see my H here and I see my N here. So my angle would go like this, and it would be identifying that space right there. So an angle will measure the degrees between your rays. So an angle is made up of two rays that connect at a vertex or a corner. And so what angle number represents it? It's number 11, it's right there, number 11. So 11 is the answer to this one. If I asked you to tell me what number um, angle number represented, maybe let's try angle C, E, uh, I. Can you find C, E, I? Look first for the E. I'll change colors. First for the E. There it is. Oh, don't mind the extra line. And um, find the C and the I. Here's the C and here's the I. And then connect. I'm not going to go the whole way. You don't have to. Angle five. And so that's pretty much angle identification. It's so that you can easily find an angle and identify it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And what was our terminology? We basically talked about the definition of an angle. So an angle are two rays that meet at the same point. Oh my gosh, my stylus is on my last nerve. Two rays that meet up and share a point called a vertex. So this is your vertex of your angle. And the center letter, when it's in letter form like this, is always identifying your vertex. Okay, next one. I feel like I'm scoring 100% so far. If M angle LHI, so that means if the measure of angle LHI, M stands for measure in this context, equals 95 degrees. What is the measure of angle LHD? So let's just identify angle LHI. Here's the H, and then we just need to find the L and the I. I'm kind of doing it visually. It's here, okay? And so that's my angle, 95 degrees. Now, it's asking what would angle LHD be? So we got to search for LHD, and that, I'm going to switch a color because they're actually on top of each other, LHD is there. Now, if you notice, these two angles come together to form a straight line. I'm going I'm to do it over here. Straight line, kind of an angle going up, and the two of them together make almost a perfect uh, arc, right? A half of a half a circle kind of a thing. Well, when you do that, that half circle, that's 180 degrees. Think of it. There's 360 degrees in a, in a circle. Half of a circle would be 180 degrees. So when your angles open up into like this half circle, they're 180 degrees total. Well, if I know that 180 is the half and I already have 95 of it taken up by this other angle, I would take the 95 away from the 180 and I would find out what the missing angle, in this case LHD, is equal to. That would be 85. Hopefully I'm doing my math right. Did that one in my head. Okay. And so that's how you would find those. The words for these, as we talked about vocabulary, these are called supplemental angles. Or supplementary Supplemental or supplementary angles equal 180 degrees. This, this phantom line that keeps popping up is driving me cray cray. All right. And so that's my terminology right there, my vocab. 
you've got supplemental or supplementary angles when they come together and they equal 180. You're going to hear the word supplementary a lot in geometry. It's very important, very helpful. Okay, so just, just going to throw down a couple other supplementary angle pairings that I see here. I mean, right there, those guys are supplementary, 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 supplementary. Oh, I'm not even done. Supplementary. Supplementary, like Captain America would say, I can do this all day long. I could go on and on forever finding supplementary or supplemental angles. They're everywhere. They come together. They equal 180 degrees. All right, let's try another one. Which angle number is adjacent to angle MNK? Now, I screwed this up on my last video. I had to do the whole thing over again because I got confuzzled with my verb, with my tech terminology. So adjacent. Adjacent means in math exactly what it means in language, next to each other. So angles that are adjacent are angles that are next to each other and actually sharing a side. And so if you find any angle, well, I'm, I guess I'll pick M, N, K because that's what they asked us to do. Let's find N. Here it is over here. And I'm just connecting it to M, N, and K. So I'm doing M, N, K. All right. And so it's this corner, not the N where I circled. That was just my vertex is labeled N. I see it's angle 13. And so I'm trying to find the angle number that is actually adjacent. Now, there's uh, two of them that are adjacent, and they're the ones that are next to it, actually sharing a ray. And so if you share a ray, you actually are considered to be adjacent. So I'll go with another color here just to show you. We've got this angle because they share this ray. I'll put a dark arrow. They actually share that side. You could also do, I'm just gonna throw this one down, this one, because they share that side. But they didn't give us a number on that one, so I'm gonna have to go with 14 because they didn't give me an N. They didn't give me a number to actually label that one. Those are called adjacent, and you can see how many of them are. They're all over the place. Numbers that are next to each other, our angles that are next to each other would be considered adjacent. Now, they don't ask us about the other one that I got confused on was consecutive. Consecutive angles, I'm going to show you two consecutive angles, here and here. They actually share another line in common. They do share a ray, and I didn't actually look up the proper definition. You see right here, they share, they share that line. One goes this way, and one goes this way. Angle here, angle here. Those are called consecutive, consecutive angles. And consecutive angles have special properties, but normally you have to have parallel lines in order to utilize the special qualities that a consecutive angle has when dealing with parallel lines. These are not parallel lines, so I don't want to go into consecutive numbers any more than that. But adjacent, they share a ray. All right, which angle number is supplementary to angle DEC. Let's identify, let's find DEC. You take a look first. Do you see DEC? DEC is easy as one, two, three, DEC. Okay, you feeling me? You with me there? So there's DEC. They're asking me to find um, an angle number that's supplementary. Remember I told you to go for the half circle? I told you to go for the semicircle. That half circle is the 180. That's the supplemental. And so we would need to continue that on over there to make that nice little arc, that half of a circle arc. Do you see an angle number there? I do not see an angle number there. So that's not going to be the right answer, is it? Maybe I remember when I said I could do this all day long. Give me another direction that I could go. 
Do you see it? How about that one? Yep, that'll do too. That'll do number five. So angle five is also supplemental to angle four, the one that they asked us to find. Oh my goodness. Can you do this one? How about angle 12? Can you tell me an angle that would be supplementary to angle 12? You're right. Oh my goodness, you got that so fast. Angle 11. Any others? Yep, you got it. Angle K right here. That would be a half circle going that way. That would be a half circle going that way. Remember, you could do it all day long. Supplemental angles are everywhere, especially in a figure with this many lines. Let's try another one. Oh, I left this blank. <laughs> I think I had a really good plan when I started this video of why I wanted to leave these blank because I think I wanted to, if I remember, I wanted to go over a couple important ones that we didn't do yet. How about this one? These are my favorite. Vertical. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Come on. Vertical. My style. That's not even how you spell vertical. <sighs> Good. Time to go back to bed. Vertical. All right. Vertical angle is my all-time favorite. They used to, back in the day, I'm not going to tell you how far back in the day, but it was back in the day, peeps. Back in the day, vertical angles were actually called opposite angles. And it made so much more sense when you called them opposite angles because vertical angles are opposite of each other. So if you pick any angle, I don't know, like pick angle four. Tell me the angle that's completely opposite on the other side of it. Just like literally draw a line opposite it. And that would be your opposite angle, angle six. If I asked you to find the opposite angle to one, just draw a line across and you hit the opposite angle, it's three. If I give you 11, oh my gosh, seriously. <sighs> angle 11, who's opposite 11? You got it, K. Who's opposite H? Eight. Who's opposite 15? 13. Those are called vertical angles. Vertical angles are opposite each other. And you know what's awesome about them? Vertical angles are equal to each other. So if you know what one angle is, and you then you know automatically the one who's directly opposite it is vertical to it, and they will be equal to each other. Vertical angles are equal. So let's just recap. We had supplementary, supplementary angles, 180. Complementary angles. Ooh, did we talk about complementary angles? I don't think so. Let's take a look at complementary angles. You might notice what's new about this little guy. I gave you some right angles, some 90 degree angles. So 90 degree, if you have angles whose sum is 90 degrees, then you have what are called complementary angles. If I told you that this one was equal to 30, and you knew that it was 90 degrees, you would know that this one was 60, because 30 and 60 is 90. Those are called complementary angles. The one that equals 180, supplementary angles. The ones that total 90, complementary angles. So let's take a look over here. If you knew that this one was 45 and you can see that it is a complementary angle to that other one that shares that 90 degree space, you would know that this one would also have to be 45 because 45 and 45 is 90. And so those are called complementary angles. Let me give you another one. I see one up here. I'll change color though. If I told you that this, and this is not drawn to scale, people, 85 degrees. If that angle was 85 degrees, how many degrees would that have to be? Regardless of what it looks like, not drawn to scale. How many would it have to be? You got it. Five. Now, we're assuming that that was a 90 degree angle. I didn't give you a box. You have to be given a box to know that it's 90 degrees. You can't just say it looks like it's 90. 
And so that was my bad. I should have had that little 90 degree box. So there we have it with complementary angles. So what do we have? Supplementary, 180. Complementary, 90. Vertical angles opposite each other are equal to each other. What else did we talk about? We talked about, should I go back and we can peek? Vertical angles are equal. Um, there it is, adjacent. Adjacent angles are next to each other. Let's actually go over here for a minute. Can you identify an adjacent angle? Oh gosh, they're all over the place. How about this one and this one? They're next to each other, they're adjacent. You don't have to be 180 degrees to be adjacent. You just have to be touching each other, sharing one of your sides. That makes you adjacent. All right, guys, it wasn't too long of a video. I tried to keep it short. I know I threw a lot of stuff at you. These are the basics. These are the ones that you're gonna hear a lot of, and they're the ones that you need the most review for before you start working with the basics on geometry and angle relationships. I hope this helped you out. You know what it's gonna be. I'm gonna always see you on the flip side. Peace.